Right, tell you had a chance. Now let's talk about the next XPS 15 and 17. What GPU will be going in it? I think we know what CPU is going in it. And will they have an AMD version? Let's discuss all this in this video. And I think the first port of call is when will it come out? I think we're waiting for a new Intel CPU. So to answer, will it have an AMD version? Well, I'm not 100% sure here. I'm not sold on that idea unless we can get some USB 4. Can that even work with the AMD CPUs? We're yet to see a Thunderbolt or a USB 4. I mean, USB 4's out, so I mean, Apple have it. I don't know why these new Ryzen laptops don't at least have USB 4, considering like since last year, Apple have already had USB 4, which of course is pretty much like Thunderbolt 3 or whatever anyway. So why hasn't it come out already, the XPS 15 or 17? I think they're waiting for the new Intel 11th generation 45 watt parts. So Rocket Lake or is it Tiger Lake? I don't know what we're going to be calling it, but it's going to be 14 nanometer based but it will be based on Sunny Cove architectures. So the same architecture that goes into the 10 nanometer chips, it will have better Intel HD, so the performance for video editing could be game changing with the better HEVC and H.24 encoding and decoding. So when's that gonna be launched? I don't think it's gonna be until summer. I think we would have heard something, but what about the GPU? What GPUs are gonna use? Maybe they're waiting for AMD GPUs, but if we're just talking about specifically Intel GPUs, I guess what we want to know and what I want to know is can an RTX 3060 go into the XPS 15 and 17? Now, if we have a quick look at the RTX 3060, it can be configured down to 60 watts. 60 watts. Yes, that's right. So you got to think of the XPS line. 130 watt total package okay the xps 17 has a 2060 probably the same sort of power as a 3060 they haven't put it in the xps 15 will the xps 15 get a vapor chamber i doubt it i don't know if we want a vapor chamber because it does increase the weight quite a bit and one of the best things about the xps 15 is its compactness and the weight is pretty good i mean adding the vapor chamber will add weight i don't know let me know down there in the comments would you like to see a vapor chamber in the xps 15 if it meant extra weight but given that the xps 17 can fit a 2060 into it and it could do about 10 more watts than the XPS 15 even though the you know the power limit is the same the 130 watts which is really good from Dell this is the best thing about the XPS lineup it is USB-C like any other laptop that has over 100 watts of power usually uses a barrel charger this is a custom 130 watt power brick that you get with the XPS 15 and 17. So I don't want more power if they're going to add a barrel charger. Maybe they can make a 150 watt USB-C or 170 watt USB-C. However, I doubt this very much because I don't think the chassis, how small and compact they are, could actually handle more heat. It's sort of marginal as it is. So it's going to be a 130 watt package. What I'll say is with the XPS 15, I doubt it very much. I don't think they're going to have a 3060. It can only do about 40 watts once the GPU has been lit up. Maximum 50 watts if you know the CPU is under low load. So I think a 60 watt 3060 is just a bridge too far with the XPS 15. I'd love to be surprised in this regard. I do think it's going to get whatever the next one out is, like the replacement for the 1660 Ti, which will probably be a 3050 or a 3050 ti something like that i think that's what the xps 15 is going to get and that should have good performance because the 3060 i do have a 3060 in the house and the performance is really good it's like you know equal of a 2070 so you are getting a boost in performance there but i have a 130 water okay there's a big difference between a 130 water and a 60 water right so whether it'll be the 2070 at 60 watts i doubt it very much 60 water of course it will be power limited by that 130 watts you know hamstrung by that a bit but it can certainly handle it thermally wise it can do about 85 watts in total like you know total cpu and gpu together it can do about 85 watts sustained which 60 watts can fit into that with dynamic boost you know you don't have to put so much juice into the cpu now it could conceivably have 60 watts for the gpu and then what 25 for the cpu that would be perfect so i think definitely the xps 70 can handle a 3060 but I don't think it will get one, and here's why. If it can handle one, why isn't there a model coming out already with 3060? Now, it could be that they only want to update them both at the same time, but it could possibly be that they're both earmarked to have like a 3050 or whatever replaces the 1660 Ti. Or it could be, again, waiting for that new CPU. I don't think AMD's coming. I'd love to see an AMD XPS 15. As long as they can sort out the USB 4, as I said before, and Thunderbolt, 
that would be amazing. The 35 watt variant of the new Ryzen CPUs, that would just be wow. But in all honesty, I think we're gonna be waiting for the 11th gen CPU and we're gonna have like 1650 and we're gonna have like a 1350 or something like that. Please discuss down there in the comments. I don't think much else has to really change. I think they're gonna have the same displays, pretty much everything else the same. I would like to see on the XPS 15 that USB type C turn into a Thunderbolt. So we have three Thunderbolts, that would be amazing. Although I won't hold my breath in that regard, and I do want to see an XPS 17 in white, because the XPS dream is a white XPS 17 with, of course, a 9.9, all the most powerful CPU you can get, and yeah, RTX 3060. But I don't think that's going to happen. So I will make a video on the next MacBook Pro 16, and oh, that thing just looks like wow. Double the amount of GPU cores, double the amount of CPU cores, actually more than double, and it's going to be a good year for laptops, I think. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Let me know down there in the comments what you think. Tally ho.